remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Touch ball. Keep it. Anthony Joshua, one of the best heavyweights in recent memory, a chance to prove it again tonight, but he faces what many consider to be all around his toughest challenge yet. Alexander Usyk from the Ukraine, and here we go. Todd Grisham, Darren Parker, and Roy Jones Jr. ringside. Well, this is what I expected from Anthony Joshua to come to the center of the ring, but so oh, good backhand from Usyk, good shot. Also expected lots of feints to come from the smaller man from Ukraine, Usyk, trying to get the reaction from Anthony Joshua. Roy Jones says it's very important for Joshua to get out to a quick start. It is, but we see, I saw Usyk get out to the start first with a good left-hand lead. All the talk about Usyk being too small for a heavyweight. He looks the part right now, coming in at over 220 pounds. Joshua closer to 240. Joshua's very smart to come in bigger because you want to be able to out to bully him if any chance comes. Yes, positive work with the feet from Usyk. He doesn't want to give up too much ground, and he hasn't so far. You certainly got to be nervous for both these fighters, despite them having fought on big stages before. I mean, 70,000 people, that's nerve for everybody. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, nice oh. right hand there from Joshua. That backs Usyk up a little bit. We learned from his fight against Derek Jasor that Usyk does have a good chin. Yeah, he does. Against Tony Bellew, who was caught with a backhand, shrugged it off against Derek Chisor and Witherspoon. He was caught with a backhand. He has a real good knack of taking the sting out of the shot with his foot, feet, footwork and his quick reactions. And he's going to have to rely on those to see the oh, good backhand. Good left hand there for the challenger. And Joshua's letting Usyk get too close. If he let, lets him hit him like that a few more times, he'll go down. He can't let Usyk keep hitting him like that. Usyk getting too close to him without him backing up. He feels like Usyk can't hurt him. But Usyk has put some real fear in his heart already. Yeah, he's good in a good rhythm with his feet here, Usyk. Bouncing up and down. He landed a lovely shot. Two big shots. That's not good for Joshua. There you go. Joshua standing right in the middle of the ring, just pivoting on his back foot. He's trying to answer. That's what you want to see him do. Good backhand to the body by Usyk. Usyk has not stood still for a moment. I've been impressed with the positioning of his feet in this ring. He's holding the center, not getting backed up onto the ropes where Anthony Joshua would like Usyk. And that's one thing Anthony Joshua should have did right away was establish himself and back Usyk up. Let Usyk do that, let Usyk get too close. Oh, and another left, a straight left from Usyk, who may have come out here and won this first round. Talk about making a statement in London. Wow, intriguing stuff. It really is good movement, like I say. Usyk got in a rhythm, bouncing around, moving his head, and he landed some good backhands. Really got into his contest well. And then getting close enough to shoot that straight left hand right down the pipe, something Joshua has not been taught yet. Never let a man faint in like that and you don't move backwards because he's going to catch you straight up every time. Round two. Joshua said, sometimes I have to get burned to learn not to touch the stove. Maybe Usyk was a little too hot to handle there in round one. Yeah, smart boxing by Usyk. And again, comes to the center of the ring. Plenty of feints, always. Jerking here and there, trying to get a reaction from Anthony Joshua. That's what Anthony Joshua done so well against Pulev in his last contest. The jab, good variation with the jab. That's what he needs to try and establish into this contest. Has to establish that. If he doesn't establish that, then it doesn't no good to be the taller or a bigger fighter. 
No rest for the weary. These guys have come out throwing punches, moving nonstop, fighting like light heavyweights. That's what Usyk has to do. He's a smaller guy, and that's what Joshua has to do right there. You just straight right hand to the fighters to try to slow him down. Darren, did you expect Usyk to be so aggressive? Probably not as uh, aggressive with his feet that he's shown here. Holding the center ring, he has such a good ability to be able to navigate back to the center of the ring without his uh, back touching the ropes. Smart boxing, exactly in the right position. Good jab also by Usyk. Joshua said this would be a battle of conditioning, and he might be right. Good fight. Yes, he's using his face very good. Now, both fighters are. First round, when Usyk was fainting, Joshua wasn't reacting to him. Now he's reacting to the face and fainting as well. The change in the levels by Usyk, head and body. When you fight a taller man, that's exactly what you need to be doing. So many feints from both these fighters. I don't like that Josh is not feinting to left, get back when Usyk feints with that left hand. Because if he keeps doing that, he's going to get caught with the same straight left again or an overhand left, which would be even more dangerous. See Usyk trying to set up that left hand. Lots of movement. He's trying to get Anthony Joshua to fall over that front foot so he can find that right hand like that. Usyk going straight after the champ. He is not deterred or fearful at all. Well, he knows he has the better boxing skill. And right now, he's winning the fight with the skill. And he shouldn't be, because this is early. This is when the powerful man or the bigger man should be dominating. Ooh. There's a right. With shots like that. But Usyk gonna get his right back. Yeah, the shot to the body. That's showing you that he's out here to win the fight. He's not here just- and He backed him up with a straight left at Usyk. He is right up in AJ's kitchen. You still gotta be careful because AJ still can take him out with that full fight at any time. Very good, positive start by Usyk. Jab, pushing Joshua back, and now Joshua's reacting a little better, but he's still not moving back with his feet. He's only reacting with his hands. So it's a, and that was a good hook by Joshua, but it's allowing Uzi to land that straight left hand. Good jab on the outside of the orthodox stance. Mixes it up so well, Uzi. Goes from inside the right there. stance, that's the shot. That's the straight on left hand. Yes. Yeah. The game plan seemingly working to perfection so far for the challenger. Well, you gotta also remember though, Joshua has that one punch knockout power that can get anybody out, so it's not gonna be safe for Usyk until it's completely over. Again, we see Usyk straight to the center of the ring, allowing space behind him. I expect either this round or the next couple of rounds, Anthony Joshua to start stepping forward, really forcing himself onto Usyk. There's a nice shot from JJ. But every time Usyk gets hit, Roy, he goes right back and gets a receipt. That, 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 that you know that his mindset is that I'm not going to be outdone tonight. I'll have to be knocked out to be uh, to lose because every time he hits me once, I'm going to hit him twice. And that's what Usyk's been doing so far. Oh! And again, Usyk with a straight left hand. The southpaw scores. Two big shots straight down the middle of the guard of AJ. He took it well, though. Is that tremendous footwork. That's what I'm talking about. He's going left and right. He's not going straight down the pipe. So you don't have to worry about running into a big shot. And Shades. that's what he has to do. Shades of Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for that backhand again. Just misses, but changes the level to the body. Good work by Usyk. Boxing smart. Can Usyk keep up this pace for 12 rounds? I think he can. And if he can, this will be something spectacular to see. But when he gets fatigued, he has to avoid those big shots still. 
But AJ, like I said, is deadly from round one to the end of the fight. Finding it hard to work out this puzzle at the minute, AJ. He yes. needs to let that jab go. You got to try, quit trying to put the punch on uh, Usyk and just throw it. Right now he's trying to place it on Usyk. That's going to be very difficult. Like to close the gap slightly with his feet, AJ. And what we have to remember is that Usyk has survived the punches such as Geisef and uh, Chisor. So big punches do not scare him no. at all. Still waiting for AJ to land a big right hand. Pawing away at the jab as Usyk bounces in, out, and side to side. His fellow countryman, Vasily Lomachenko, would be proud of the angles he's taken here tonight. Of course. It's a straight left right down the pipe again. He's killing AJ with the fake game, guys. AJ is not used to this fake game from a southpaw. Oh, what a good. Alexander Usyk putting in the performance in a lifetime. I told you. I told you. The legs. I told you. The legs. The champ is in real trouble here in round three. Do you believe what we're seeing? Yes, he doesn't get too close. through three full rounds for the challenger who's coming up from cruiserweight to try and steal Joshua's world title. That was a slip, but a punch got him off balance. Well, he just can't get comfortable because all it takes is one from Joshua. Has to stay switched on, AJ. They're in the headlights at the minute. Usyk boxing so well, lots of movement. Really finding the range now with that backhand. See how see how Joshua moves his feet back then? That's what he needs to do every time Usyk faints toward him like that. But usually he's not doing it, and that's why he's getting caught with a big shot. Like right there, you gotta move your feet back. You can't just move your head back. This crowd doesn't know quite how to react right now. Just a buzz of uncertainty here from 70,000. Marking over the right eye, or under the right eye of Usyk. Now, now Josh is reacting better to the fence at least. Round four scheduled for 12. What a heavyweight battle this has been. Alexander Usyk has been fantastic. So impressed with the jab as well. Giving up a few inches of reach, but still managing to, to out-jab AJ. Ooh, there's a right hand from AJ. An awkward step there from Usyk, but again, he goes right back into the fire. And for the first time, we've got a clinch quickly there apart. Looks like Usyk has a little cut in his eye. AJ appears to get, be getting a little bit more comfortable, and that may not be a good thing as a left cross from Usyk connects. Exactly what you said, Roy. He's always thinking Usyk, always trying to look for the opening. Yeah, exactly. Always trying to unlock the puzzle in front of him. And fainting the man out of position. He's using those feints very good right there to faint Joshua out of position. That's how he's hitting him. He's fainting him out of position first or holding him in place, and then he's throwing a big shot after him. Like that.
good response though from the previous round from AJ. Yes. Regained his composure. It's been a long time, but we saw Joshua overcome adversity against Vladimir Klitschko. He was dropped in that fight, came back to win. Yep. Smarter pressure, okay? Make him work, make him move his feet. Cool. That jab's got to be followed by the right hand now. When you're inside, whip it underneath, okay? Come and then lean and push and shove him. Don't mess about with him inside. Well, from the off, he's looking to the Usyk is, is yeah. been so side impressive side with his footwork. He's been right? moving around. The accuracy with the shots is well worth being class, haven't they? Yes, that straight left hand is something that oh, Joshua has not been able to deal with. He keeps feints the outside, and then bam, he lands it right down the middle. Joshua's not going for the feint, so since he's not going for the feint, feint, there's the open hand up. And, and that's the poor with the right hand. He's exaggerated the movement too much, and he got punished. Exactly. This fight has flown by. We're in the fifth round already. Darren, how do you have it scored through four full rounds? I have three rounds, through six, one for AJ. Well, that was a good response from Andy Joshua in the last round, but impressive start from Usyk. You agree with that, Ford? Yeah. Yes, I agree with it, 100%. Three to one for the challenger, who buckled the knees, and a sneaky little right uppercut there from Usyk. And of course, AJ was all signed, sealed, and delivered to fight Tyson Fury in the biggest prize fight, perhaps, in boxing history. We all know the story. Now he's got Usyk. Imagine what Tyson Fury's thinking right now. I can take what Tyson Fury's thinking. He's thinking that AJ better keep backing up every time Usyk faced that overhand left or that fight with Joshua is going to be over. So much on the line for AJ here tonight. See that? That's the, that's the point I don't like right there. When, Josh, when, when Usyk fakes down, Joshua don't, does not move back. You have to move back with your feet, just like he did right then. Good jab from AJ. A good backhand to the body from Usyk. He's down that well, changing the levels again. Another left hand lands for the southpaw from Kiev, Ukraine. Usyk says that was low. The referee didn't seem to mind. To the body. Big hands to the body from AJ. Yes. Very good body shot. Is AJ beginning to figure him out, Roy? No, not yet. But he's figuring out that he needs to go to the body more. He is figuring that out. Controlling the pace better though now, Anthony Joshua. Yes. Not getting picked off as much. Oh, oh another straight left. Straight left splits the guard for Usyk. This AJ with the right. This is better stuff from AJ. But can he hold this for 12 rounds? Good job from Usyk. So, oh. Good footwork from you, you just feel that if Usyk connects with a big shot again, AJ is going to be in trouble. But you also feel if AJ connects with a big shot, Usyk going to be in trouble. That's the beauty of heavyweights. <laughs> All it takes is one. Oh. AJ oh, sure. with a right. Shot. He's found his confidence again.
straight right hand down the middle, just like Usa been catching him with the straight left hand all night. This time Joshua did it first, and he went outside and landed the right hand, something he learned tonight from Usa. Yeah, exactly. Took his head off center line and landed the right hand. Good shot. Let's see if Usyk becomes a little bit more aggressive as some of these rounds might be tilting towards the champ. The champ bounced back good those last two rounds. Roy Anthony told everyone that he changed his approach to training. He didn't hit focus pads and said he worked more on the heavy bag this camp. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a good thing. You hit focus pads, don't, don't allow you to use your reach as much. Guys throw the punches for you instead of you throwing your own punches. Whereas the heavy bag, at least you get to reach out to the end and hit the heavy bag. Unfortunately, the heavy bag in front of him right now, named Usyk, does not stand still. <laughs> he doesn't. Good job by Usyk. He moves a lot, back, a lot more than the conventional heavy bag. But now you see Joshua stalking him. This is what Joshua should have been doing from round one. Yeah. Roy, you told us right before the fight, you thought Usyk should start turning things on in round six. Here we are. Well, a little differently because I didn't expect Usyk to win for a, a three of the first four rounds. Picking the shots well here, Andy yeah. Joshua. Some nice jabs, he's landed the backhand. And what's fascinating here is that Joshua has actually made a better adjustment yeah. than Usyk has. Usually we see Usyk adjust later in the fight. Right now, Joshua has adjusted. Yeah, he, Andy Joshua is stopping Usyk from getting into his rhythm. Plenty of fights of his own. He's mixing the jab up, head and body. He's landed the backhand. This is better boxing from Anthony Joshua. He's learning on the job. Oh. oh, good combination from Usyk. Joshua answers back. But you see Joshua not throwing power on all those shots now, which is what he should have been doing, because now he can wait till he can touch him, and after he can touch him, then he can try to hit him hard. Andy Joshua stalking his man now. Starting to push Usyk back in this round. Downstairs to the body with the left. Usyk is looking for overhand left right there. Joshua's going to pay close attention. Now, if he lands it, it might be over with. The crowd sensing the pendulum is swinging, swinging in their champion's favor. Oh, he got it coming in. Big right for AJ. Can he build on it? 20 seconds to go here in the sixth. Needs to start trying to find the backhand of his own again, Usyk. He stopped throwing it. Counter right hook from AJ, straight right. Usyk may just want to scamper around till he hears the bell. With AJ feeling comfortable now. And that's what he does. And we head to the seventh. Wow, good fight. And what a very good response from Andy Joshua. I gave Alex Usyk all first three rounds, and I've given the last three rounds to AJ. So now we got an even fight. We got an even fight. Now we're back at round one. <laughs> this is beautiful. Here we see Usyk Lee with the jab, but AJ once again coming down between that jab with a straight right knee. I love it. He's using straight right. He's not trying to hit hard. He just used like a pop shot, like a jab. So now instead of throwing all of this power and telegraphing it, Boom, it just comes over because he's not trying to knock him out with every punch. Like that. Yeah. Touch shot. You gotta be able to touch a man before you can really hit him hard. Well, Roy, what would your advice be right now for Alexander Usyk? Uh, get back to the body, start throwing more straight lifts, and start throwing more overhand lifts. You gotta hurt him again. And my advice to Joshua would be keep doing exactly what you're doing. Use that left hand and touch him with shots. If you touch him, you can hit him. Seems to be getting comfortable, getting in his groove. Usyk answers back.
It is hard to convey the atmosphere these two men are fighting in right now. It is off the charts electric. Oh, backhand from Usyk. AJ took the sting out of that, just left back. But Usyk's punches are not as hard as they were earlier, though. Straight like up with that. that left hand, right on the chin. Joshua took that one well. Joshua's punches still have a lot more steam on than Usyk does right now. pressure on Joshua, but Joshua's actually putting pressure on Usyk. He's staying very close to him, making him stay set. That wears the fighter down as well. Oh, uppercut to the body. You don't see that too often. And then a swiping right hand. He just touched him. He's not hitting with power shots. He's just touched him because if he keeps touching him, he'll be able to load up on one soon. Oh, good shot to the solar plexus from Anthony Joshua. 
But now you see Usyk is not as quick as the back as he was earlier in the fight. A big swing and a miss there from the challenger, but he connects that time. It's the first time we've seen Usyk throw four or five shots on the bounce. Misses with the last shot. Good shot by Justin. The shortest distance between two points is that straight right hand from Joshua. It's worked the body well in this round. And Joshua, there's that backhand. Narrowly misses from Usyk. Roy, you don't normally see heavyweights moving around the ring and with this much activity. Well, Usyk is a different guy. Usyk is a guy that came up from cruiserweight, so he's a lighter guy. So he's forcing the action Ooh, to move around. He's moving a lot. All right to the body, digging in down low. And that That's going to open up the overhand right soon. media, Roy, scores are kind of all over the place, but almost everyone has it really close. Yeah, I think it's about even still right now. So Joshua appears to be right. He said earlier, it's going to be a battle of conditioning. I am in tip-top shape. I will outwork, I will out my opponent. And he's doing it right now. He looks to be the pressure fighter of the two. You see, Usyk is supposed to make him pay off stuff like yeah. that, but he didn't, so let you know that Usyk has to be tired and feeling it right now. That was a good opportunity. So yes, it was. Great observation earlier. Usyk, as soon as he got hit, jumped right back into the fray. You never know what kind of damage those do, Darren. No. You'll be feeling those for sure. It's very accurate, very, very, very fast. The ones that you don't see coming do the damage. And what we don't see now is we don't see Usyk as, as much head movement as he had earlier. Earlier he was using the head movement right there to get close to Justin. Now he's not doing it as much. See that right there? He stopped doing that so much. When he was doing that, he was having a lot better success. Good job by Usyk. Usyk's got to find a way back inside. Got to start by using that head move right there like he was doing earlier. That was the key for him, but he stopped. Boxing nice in this round, Usyk. Pick some good shots. Get back into a rhythm. Joshua ain't going for the same tricks, though. Like I said, Joshua has made some really good adjustments. Usyk appears to need to find his second win. Yes, he seems very tired. And Josh is having fun because he's figuring things out on the job. Thirty seconds to go here in round nine, and what has been a fantastic heavyweight fight, punctuated by a. Challenger. Good body shot by, by, by Joshua. And now Joshua on the front foot towards the ropes. Good body shot. Now Joshua feels like Uzi can't hurt him anymore. Good job. Sharp jab right for the guard. 
just misses with the left. This fight has been everything you could have asked it to be. And so.
The jab scoring for Usyk. According to Derek oh. Booker, scorecard. Anthony Joshua's got to win these final two rounds. Good shot by Joshua. Good shot by Joshua. Good straight right hand. Darren, what are you telling AJ right now? Force the pace. Don't do anything clumsy. Get behind that jab. Get your foot on the outside of the southpaw stance and try and land that right hand. And I'm telling him to also go to the body. But I'm telling Usyk to use more overhand left and attack that right hand. The eye is swollen. Attack that eye. Throws another right hand. He's got to be careful, does Anthony? When he throws those big power punches, he's open for the counter. Yeah, does not want to be falling over the front foot. Someone with the skill that Usyk has will make you pay. Good try by Joshua. Very good try right there. This is the kind of stuff he needs to be doing. Changing the pace with the bounce. Bigger man is bouncing around like he has the most energy. This is beautiful. Makes the little man think that he's not tired. The little man is hesitant about attacking. Again, the terrific head movement for Lucy. Always moving side to side. He's in the jab. And he always has more success when he uses Usyk senses the moment. He's already become the unified, undisputed cruiserweight champion. And he's perhaps just minutes away from becoming a three-belt heavyweight champion. You better quit relaxing after he punches because he almost got caught with a big one right there. Uh, good variation by Usyk, working head and body. Again, we see there the movement. So loose, so relaxed. AJ gets him on the chin when he's that relaxed. It's going to be good night. You still sense that we can see a knockout in this fight, despite of there only being three minutes to go. <laughs> of course, good body shot. Of course, we can. Usyk is having the fight of his life at the perfect time. Absolutely, another round for Alexander Usyk there. Just getting in such a nice rhythm. Plenty of bounce in his, his feet, his arms, moving freely. Lock him up if you want to lock him up. Picking the shots really well. He looks jaded in the corner, AJ. I need to pick him up. Stalking his man, but not throwing anything. 
the, the footwork won't allow him to throw much. No. Usyk trying to send shockwaves throughout the heavyweight division and the boxing world in general. He's got AJ in trouble in London with a minute 39 to go. Tremendous boxing by Usyk. The movement non-stop for 12 rounds. And with a straight left hand again. I think AJ's hurt. Hand again. AJ could be hurt. He doesn't have time to be hurt. Oh, he really doesn't. You gotta try to find one shot. Not give one shot, or well, not take one shot, but he has to give one shot. Like that one, like that one. Good action here. Both men looking for the big shot. Good job by Usyk, and a follow up by Becker. H.A. still seemingly not quite fully back. Trying for the knockout, though. But who? Who gets the knockout? AJ's just trying for what I said. Oh, big shot by O.C. It's, it's oh, 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 AJ is in the trouble. Ropes. Do oh. you believe this? Yes, I believe it. Yes, I believe it. Sometimes a judge is looking to make a decision, and that may alter his choice. Of course, Evander Holyfield became the undisputed cruiserweight champion, moved up to heavyweight, won the titles, and win or lose, I think Usyk has proved that he is the real deal tonight. Absolutely. I don't think he's lost this one, Todd. I think you, you look back at the reflection, that was a beautiful boxing performance. And you're right. AJ looks like a beaten man, Roy. Exactly. That says a lot. You cannot do that at the end of a fight because if a judge is looking to say, well, who do I think I want to give this last little bit to? I say the guy who's fresher. And Usyk is walking around the ring. AJ looks like it's over with. But there was a, a really good start from, from Usyk. And back came AJ. You know, there were some close rounds in the middle there, but some that I felt AJ was coming back into the contest and there wasn't much in it, but then Usyk almost found his second win and started to let the shots go. And I know this sounds a bit strange to say this about the reigning heavyweight champion, but you've got to give credit for AJ hanging in there when he was rocked early, going right after it, stayed after it, even when he was perhaps in bad shape, he would not take a step back. Nope. Two former opponents embrace there. Alexander Usyk and Tony Bellew. So much respect. Darren, is there any scenario that you think AJ wins this fight? No, it's not my card. I mean, look, he had a, a decent patch in the middle of the fight, but in general, Usyk bossed that with superior footwork, good jabs. And this was a big onslaught at the end of the 12th round. Just the constant movement from Usyk. Head. Fantastic footwork. And look at that barrage of punches done very well. He was lucky there was only a few seconds left on the clock. But for me, th 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 there's only one winner there, Alexander Usyk. I feel, and I think Eddie Hearn pointed, Eddie Hearn pointed out that there, there's some trouble, some damage to the eye of AJ. 
Rams may have troubled him later down the stretch, but you can see the grimace on the face of AJ in the corner there at the end of the contest. AJ has not gotten off his stool. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Victor Feschenko, the score was it? 117 to 112. Steve Weisfeld has it, 116 to 112. And Howard Foster scores it 115 to 113. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. And new heavyweight champion of the world, the fighting pride of Ukraine, Alexander Usyk. He fights for glory, and he's found it. And all apologies to Canelo Alvarez, but you've got to say this man has to be, if not the, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, considering what he just did. Absolutely, what a tremendous feat he has just achieved this evening. Boxed so well. I mean, that that was almost a masterclass of how to box against the bigger man. The movement, the speed. He was so elusive. He made it so difficult for AJ to land the big shot. Don't get me wrong, AJ had a period in the middle rounds that he started to get back into it, but for me, there was only one winner. I had that similar to the scorecard where Usyk wins by four. Roy, you were emphatic earlier that this not only is going to be the toughest fight of AJ's life, but that Usyk may win this late, and he closed like a bull. I told everybody that I knew. There's no way, I'm, I'm going to be honest, there's no way that a good boxer is going to lose to a guy with less experience and who's not a really good boxer. I didn't like what I saw in the Andrew Reeves fight, neither one of them, even the one he won. I didn't like what I saw. I didn't really like what I saw in the, uh, the last fight he had. So, Puglia, I didn't like that fight either. So, for me, he's making Im improvement, but you're fighting a genius. Usyk dominated the whole cruiserweight division where some killers in that division. He dominated. He didn't beat him. He dominated it. That tells you he's a hell of a fighter. Darren, now, AJ, I believe, has a rematch clause. There is. You know he's going to cash that check, but will we say, see the same scenario if they do fight again? You think so? You, you think so? I mean, that, that was a comfortable performance from Usyk there. You know, he moved so well. He was never shook shook at all from the, the punches of AJ. I mean, he, he was caught a couple of times as well, but he has such a good knack of missing and avoiding the shots. Look what it means to the new heavyweight champion. And can I say one other thing? And I'm not saying this, I'm just telling you about people like Evander Holyfield and the others that moved up and did it. Had Usyk had that explosiveness on his punch, we might have never got out of the first round. Wow. Well, who's the best heavyweight in the world now, Roy Jones? <laughs> it's still Tyson Fury, but Usyk is a close second. How, how do you think, Roy, that Usyk gets on against Tyson Fury? Well, here's what you got to look at. Tyson Fury is actually a taller version of Usyk. Neither one of them are known for their punching power. Both of them are masterful thinkers. So it's the most boring fight you ever want to see because there's two guys out there that's going to outthink one another. It's not going to be a knockout. But those are actually the two top guys in the division right now. Now, it's an ugly fight to make. I wouldn't even make that fight if I was in her.